up everybody, it's Roger and James here from the This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about um, Marvel's um, Phase 4 of the movies, because we got sent um, a question to do on, as an episode by um, James over at Infinity Museum, who asked, um, so recently the Russo brothers have been speculating on on the Secret Wars coming for Phase 4 of the MCU, um, and it said, what would we like to, what would we like to hear? Um, do you want to see like the Fantastic Four, the X Men, uh, Nemo, Blade, things like that? Um, so I'll be honest. Um, Secret Wars. Um, I got a little bit confused because at first I thought it was Secret Invasion, which was a comic book event that I read years ago, which I loved. Secret Wars um, is a bit of an odd one. And yeah, yeah. Have you read? Uh, once you clarified that, have yeah. you actually read Secret Wars? And we're talking about. Presumably the one from a couple of years ago. Yeah, because isn't this where they basically end up doing like a grandmaster thing where they're on a planet facing off of that? Because that was where they isn't that originally where they introduced the black suit Spider Man back in the eighties? Oh no, no. Uh, so let's clarify. There's actually yeah. multiple Secret Wars. There was the one in the nineteen eighties, uh, and yes, that is where the black suit Spider Man came from, yeah. and then uh, progressed to Venom, of course. There was a sequel to that, I think, also in the eighties or the very early nineties. We don't talk about that one. Mm. And then there was more recently, um, 2015, I, I'm doing yeah. this off the top of my head, so yeah. the year might be a little bit off, also called Secret War, and that was where Doctor Doom had basically recreated the entire Marvel Universe in his image. Mm -hmm. They had destroyed all the alternate realities, and Doctor Doom was now God Doom, mm -hmm. like he, he was the God Lord Emperor, and then... Uh, the worlds were split off into little things. So you would have one little area which was based on the Old Man Logan storyline. There was another area that was based on like yes. the Hulk Maestro storyline. And then uh, – and they and they had a chance to do kind of weird stuff like uh, Kitty Pride and, and Star-Lord were dating at the time. So they did one where those two had an adventure. But it wasn't the two who were dating. They were There was one from yeah. the Age of Apocalypse and then the regular Star-Lord and they – uh, I had that, to do a heist together and stuff like, like that. Battlegrounds was that a Battlegrounds was part of this. Yeah, yes. I remember reading a couple of those issues and being completely confused and never picked them up. Oh yeah, again. absolutely. I can totally understand. It was <laughs> the culmination of a multi-year storyline by Jonathan Hickman over in Avengers and New Avengers. Now, if you read it from the beginning, and yeah. I actually would encourage you to, it is a fantastic run. But jumping in in Secret Wars or Battlegrounds was like. There's yeah. so much, and the continuity is all over the place. So, all of this is just leading up to what do we think phase four is? And one of the things that was tossed out, and um, uh, this yeah, Infinity uh, Museum, yeah. sorry, uh, had mentioned that this one came up in the rumors. And I, I don't know if they're talking about the original Secret Wars. I don't know if they're talking about this one. I do have to say, in either event, I don't think this is where we're going with phase yeah. four. No. Um, I think uh, there's two possibilities. One, Marvel is banking on getting the Fantastic Four license back, and mm. we will we will see them go into a Doctor Doom or Galactus yeah. area, or more likely, because we do know what the plot uh, to a degree of Captain Marvel will be, it looks like phase four is going to involve the shape-shifting scrolls, yeah. possibly infiltrating the Earth, trying to take over from within. Kind of pulling a Hydra move, but where they can actually serve as true body doubles. There, we might get some stories with evil Hawkeye or evil mm -hmm. Captain America or evil Winter Soldier, who's already evil, but that's not the point. It's yeah. a different version of him. Uh, and it's going to be a who can you trust kind of story. Yeah. That seems to be where we're going. Yeah, so. I mean, I remember reading the um, buying the the Secret Invasion uh, comic books um, because I really like that story. I've, I really liked how they did that one, and you know, ones that we thought, you know, you know, they'd been in it for years and years because they'd been like infiltrated, and I thought that was good. Um, so it'd be interesting where they go. I think obviously Captain Marvel will introduce the Kree a bit more and the Scrolls and all of this kind of stuff a bit more. Personally, I do not want to see any um, alternate universes, anything like that coming into the MCU. I don't think mainstream media. I don't think we need. I don't think we need it. Um, you know, talking to staff and things of, 
you know, they're already confused that there's too much going on. We do not need time, you know, all this. Yeah, comic books is one thing, but it's just confusing. I mean, I read Captain America 700 last night, and I'm mean, like, oh, God, they're jumping around time, and they're in alternate universes, and it's like, oh, I just, it's just, yeah, I just don't like it. It's just like, just keep, like, time going in one straight forward line, and I don't think we're going to see, MC, I don't think my cinema, or Phase 4, will do any of that. It will just be more big, Big things going on. I don't even know if there'll be like a an underlying theme because I was thinking of this the other day. You look at all the Marvel movies and everyone were all like, "Oh, they're all leading up to Infinity War." And the actual subplots of each one of going forward has been so so thin and so slightly lined together that most people aren't even aware it's happening. Yeah, which is the way I hope they continue to do it. Yeah. I don't want to go into Phase Four or Five or Six and being like. Well, if you didn't watch Thor Armageddon, you're not going to know what's happening in Guardians of the Galaxy 5. Yeah. No, we, we don't want that. And you shouldn't be you shouldn't have to worry about going into Infinity War having seen Ant-Man or yeah. Doctor Strange. You, you should be able to get at least the basics of the character just from it. Now, what we've seen so far, they did fine. Like Civil War, Ant-Man shows up in it randomly, and mm. but... It felt fine. You, yeah. you didn't need to know his story. You didn't need to know about the heist. It was just, he's Ant-Man. Oh, and now yeah. he's Giant-Man, by the way. But yeah. it, it worked out fine. Marvel, I touching on the alternate realities, on the one hand, from a fan perspective, sometimes one of the most entertaining things is being like, what if uh, Reed Richards had been the mm -hmm. Doctor Doom instead of Victor Von Doom? It's a great, fun story to explore. Yeah. In the right context. Mm. Having said that, you know, some of the best stories since the 90s, or uh, heck, even the 80s, one of the most classic X-Men stories was the original Days of Future Past, which only has yeah. a passing resemblance to the com to the, uh, to the movie, but then Age of Apocalypse in the 90s, uh, other stuff like that. They're, they're held up very, very well. Having said that, I don't want them anywhere near these movies. The movies work because they're straightforward... Uh, simple is not the right word, but that's the one I'm going to use anyway. Yeah. You know, they're they're uncomplicated. They might have mature bits to them. Yeah. They might have subtleties to them. You know, uh, the twist, for instance, in uh, Winter Soldier, where it turned out like half of Shield was Hydra, was yeah. really well done. But that's about as you know subtle yeah. as you want to go. You don't want to move into situations, well, like the comics. Really, mm -hmm. you don't want to be. We don't want 10 years from now, you know, uh, let's say Captain America dies in Infinity War. We don't want, oh, hey, look, who's back? It's Chris Evans because of a time loop problem where, you know, he was teleported away before Thanos punched his head off. No, we don't want that. Yeah. We want the causality and the, the feeling of consequence to continue. And alternate realities ultimately take yeah. away that. And I, just think, I just think as a whole, I don't think the audiences will take it. I just don't think I don't think, I don't think mainstream audiences will take them doing that. It's one thing doing a reboot and setting it up as a, a parallel universe and all, but once you start crossing the streams and all the rest of it, it gets too complicated. It's not gonna work. It's, it's just it's just not gonna work on you know, you look at Black Panther, that is the biggest movie of all time now, you know, it's like beat Titanic. It was a simple movie. It was it, it was, was simple and it works. So people go to cinemas to be if you're after some kind of, you know, Nordic crime drama, this Marvel movies aren't what what this is about. I I kind of do want a Marvel Nordic crime <laughs> drama now. So it could it could be Black Widow, and um, I don't know. Uh, actually, if we get the X Men and they throw yeah. Dazzler or something in there, but I kind of want to see that now. But yeah, it, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't make it so that if that you're drawing on plot points from Iron Man 2 five years yeah. from now, you know. Um, but ultimately, yeah, they, if they're going to continue to work after Infinity War, because I could totally see audiences being like, all right, we've seen the buildup, we've we've seen the payoff, Infinity War and, and Infinity War Part 2 <coughs> are done, Thanos is defeated, I don't need to see any more Marvel movies, because... Yeah. 
And and then one other point. Sorry, I realized you you had something on that, but one one last point. And I'm going to sign off on that. Is it's complicated enough explaining to regular comic movie fan, uh, just regular moviegoers. Mm. Uh, no, Batman is not in the Avengers. Yeah. No, Wolverine is not in the Avengers. Well, he is in the Avengers, but not in this yeah. Avengers. Oh no, my I'm going cross-eyed. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We're not talking about Tobey Maguire Spider Man. We're not talking about Andrew Garfield Spider Man. We're talking about Tom Holland Spider Man. It's confusing enough. Don't complicate it more. No, no I, I, I think, I think going forward for like Marvel movies, by the time you start adding in Fantastic Four and X Men, that will keep things fresh. We still got Blade. I mean, Blade could be a nice addition. You got Namor. You've got there's lots of B with, but actually. I actually look at the roster of what Marvel have got right now with their, you know, what, 20 plus heroes. They could just keep churning the same 20 heroes for the next 10 to 15 years and they would be all right because there's enough combinations and team ups and stuff that they can do that will make it seem interesting. As much as, like, I've, yeah, I mean, the Fantastic Four and X Men are going to basically boost it up for another 10 years. I don't think they need to go down. They need, you know, Galactus could be something that they could build towards of being he's a threat and something's coming and something's building up and you could have maybe have the Guardians meet up with him in an episode in a movie and they lose. I mean, that's, to be honest, what would, would be work would be like they need, to, it's like, it's like Thanos really. I mean, we keep seeing him in the end trailer things, but and they've been building up to it, and we know he's going to be a badass, but no one's actually, it would, might have been cool to have seen the Guardians face him and lose, and then set up the big, like, attack, so when it comes in, I don't know, it's just, I think, but also they just need to just make a movie that's a straight-up villain, a straight-up conflict and conflict resolution, and it's done and dusted, um, these big movies and big trilogies, Marvel has been working very well at the fact that every movie pretty much does have a start, a middle, and an end, and there's a little hint of where it's going, but generally, each movie is its own standalone thing. Absolutely. So I'm just going to throw this out there, and we'll end on this, is th I don't think this is what's going to happen in Phase 4, but if I was going to do Phase 4, I would do it maybe as an intermission between Avengers Infinity War and whatever comes next, the mm. secret invasion or whatever. Phase 4 is just by itself, and I would do it as a setup for Thunderbolts. I would, you know, have villains. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 do, uh, you know, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp or whatever. But have the villains bloody well survive for once. Yeah. And then do Suicide Squad or Thunderbolts, and but with villains that have been set up in the movies. Yeah. And, and that could be just a nice little interlude. Phase four, phase four finishes, and then we start building to Doctor Doom or Galactus or whatever. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping really phase four is kind of almost, um, like you say, an in, a bit of a breather between to get a few characters in place, of get maybe the stories back on track, focus on Ant-Man, focus on Black Panther, focus on Black Widow, you know, it's a bit, a bit more four, and just let... You know, like Captain America draft. I mean, we're gonna have a bit more Spider Man and stuff, so, and just let the characters. You know, by the time everyone has a movie each, that's probably the entire phase before we've even just that they're even carrying on their adventures. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, and I think yeah. I think X Men and Fantastic Four. I think we are seven to ten years from before that actually becomes MCU. Possibly. Um, I think it'd be seven to ten years before we actually see them in their own starring movie. And that would yeah. be smart, because even if they get the rights tomorrow, it's confusing enough. They they don't need to, to turn around and, nope, the X-Men that you saw last week aren't the X-Men from this week, and that yeah. kind of thing. But, that said, putting them in as cameos, putting mm. them in, uh, you know, name-dropping name them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, Shield is having a briefing, and they just go, "Oh, well, maybe we should check out that school, the yeah. the, the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. Maybe we should check that one out." And that, and then that's all you need. You don't, because yeah. they did that with Doctor Strange yeah. in uh, so, uh, Winter Soldier, I think it yeah. was. And it's like, hey, it's good enough. It's a cool Easter egg. They didn't even have to go anywhere. That they could have just been like, "Oh, yeah, we're not actually going to do Doctor Strange," and it would still be fine mm. in the movie. I mean, I think we are. I mean, they're talking now like the the deal. Fox is summer of. 2019, so we've got mm -hmm. at least another year left before that comes in. Then they're gonna have to, you know, whatever they they start casting, start 
the pro, you know, we're five years away from uh, an X Men movie from Marvel, even if they rushed it. Um, even if they started working on the scripts and stuff now, which I'm probably assuming they'll start getting the roadmap together. But I think Phase Four was already is already probably Phase Seven is probably underway on paper already. Uh, on paper, uh, we already know that they they've planned movies out until like 2030 at this point. Yeah. So that's got to be at least Phase Eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Marvel is going to ride well, and Disney are going to ride this as long as they can and as yeah. long as they keep producing quality i don't care yeah. you know it's when the quality knows dives that we start kind of going yeah maybe not anymore but aside from like a cute a few blips here and there the the marvel movies they're good popcorn fun they haven't really steered me wrong yet not to say like oh, i don't know justice league or suicide squad <laughs> but yes you know they they will eventually the, yes. that that's just the way it goes but as long as they keep producing quality I will keep spending money on these. Okay. Phase right. 4 and beyond. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of what Phase 4 could be for the MCU. Love to know your thoughts on that. As per usual, go check us out over at DizKingdom.com. Uh, James, where can they find you? Find me HeroicLegacy.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Later. Later.